ATM. An ATM dispenses exactly rupees 5,000 per withdrawal using 100 rupee, 100, 200, and 500 rupee notes. The ATM requires every customer to give her preference for one of the three denominations of notes. So customer walks in and says 100 rupees is my preference. It then dispenses notes such that the number of notes the customer's preferred denomination exceeds the total number of notes of the other denomination. So if I've given 100 as my preferred thing, then some of these two notes will be less than number of notes of this stripe. Right. Wonderful. So, so very clear what we're trying to do. Everybody gets exactly 5,000. There are only three denominations, 100, 200, 500. The customer can give one preferred denomination. It could be 100 or 200 or 500. The number of notes of that denomination will be more than some of the other two put together. Fine. Uh, there's not much beyond this. So we're going to discuss e each of these questions based on what the question tells us. And very vital. So it's not something where we solve a complete grid and write down the answers. We've understood the constraint. We're going to jump in. Those of you who have just seen the question, hit pause on this video. Try this question. Try all the questions. Then think about solving it. Then, then think about watching the video. This is not a newscast. Right? So you have to try this question before we jump in. Right? So there, are, there are four questions following this. Okay, thing. 500 rupee note plus 200 rupee notes plus 100 rupee notes. So 500x plus 200y plus 100z is 5000. So the two zeros go away. 5x plus 2y plus z equals 15. If we say 500 rupee note is the preferred one, then x is greater than y plus z. If 200 is the preferred one, then y is greater than x plus z. If 100 is the preferred one, x is z is greater than x plus y. This depends on what the preferred note is. Fine. Wonderful. So let's jump to the questions and then see where they take us. In how many different ways can the ATM serve a customer who gives rupee 500 rupee notes as her preference? 500 rupee note is the preference. So number of 500 rupee notes should be greater than some of the other two. And now remember this question does not say that the customer should get at least one note of each type. So every note can be just the preferred note. And that everything is the 10 500 rupee notes. This is zero, this is zero. That will work. So all 10 could be 500 rupee notes. That's a preferred note. That means the number of 500 rupee notes is greater than sum of 200 plus 100 rupee notes. The total adds up to 5,000. We are good to go. So we know that 10 0 0 works. We're going to go step by step from there. Let's then assume we have nine 500 rupee notes. Nine 500 rupee notes amount to 4,500. So we have 500 rupees remaining to be split among 200 rupee notes and 100 rupee notes. All of these 500 could be 100 rupee notes, which here this will be zero. Or I could have one of these, which here there'll be three of these. 200 plus three into 100. Or two of this, which here there'll be one of these. The total number of notes will be five, four, or three. All of these are less than nine. So we could have nine, zero, Five, nine, one, three, nine, two, one. Three different possibilities with nine 500 rupee notes. Right? Of course, after this, we could have eight 500 rupee notes. So, eight 500 rupee notes correspond to 4,000 rupees. That means we have 1,000 rupees remaining between 100 and 200. And so, 100 rupee notes and 200 rupee notes amounting to 1000 rupees totally. One extreme is we have 5 of these, 0 of these. The other extreme we have 10 of these, 0 of these. Could have 4 and 2, 3 and 4, 2, 406, 1 and 8. These are the possibilities, different possibilities. So 100 rupee notes, and 200 rupee notes amounting to 1000. We could have 10 of these and 0 of these, 8 of these, 1 of these, 6 of this, 2 of this, 4 of this, 3 of this, 2 of these, 4 of these, 
zero of these five of these. I'm replacing 200 rupee notes with a 200 rupee note. These are all possibilities when there are eight 500 rupee notes. Fine. So now the total number of notes, this plus this is 10. So this is ruled out. The number of notes outside of the 500 rupee note should be less than eight, not even less or equal to less than eight. So this is also out. This is also out. It adds up to nine notes, it's add up to eight notes. These three are possible. So let's fill that in. So I could have with eight, eight, three, four, eight, four, two, eight, five, zero. I cannot have eight, two, six. That's not possible. And so with 10, we have done a set of combinations. With nine, we have done. With eight, we have done. Let's go with seven. Seven different ways, seven, seven 500 rupee notes gives us 3500 rupees. The remaining 1500 need to be dispensed with 100 rupee notes and 200 rupee notes. Fine. One extreme is to have 15 of these notes and zero of these. Another extreme is to have seven of these notes and one of this. Seven into 200 is 1400 plus one. Even this extreme amounts to eight notes. We know we need to have less than seven notes, not even less or equal to less than seven notes or with seven different notes. This is just not possible. Seven 500 rupee notes. This is just not possible. That means with six or five or four, it's not possible. Or the number of ways is just this. There are seven different ways in which the ATM can serve a customer. One with 10 500 notes, three with nine 500 rupee notes and three with eight 500 rupee notes. With seven 500 rupee notes or lower, it is impossible to distribute 5,000 rupees with these conditions being satisfied. Let's go to the next one. ATM could serve only 10 customers with a stock of 50 500 rupee notes and a sufficient number of notes of other denominations. What is the maximum number of customers among these 10 who could have given 500 rupee notes of their preference? 500 rupee notes as their preference. So some have given 500 rupee notes as their preference. Now we already know that these are the possible combinations for 500 rupee notes as their preference. That means with 500 rupee notes as preference, I could either satisfy a customer with 10 notes, nine notes or eight notes of the 500 rupee denomination. If this is the preference, then I need to have 10, nine or eight 500 rupee notes. This is where it gets very interesting and simplified a lot. I want to have the maximum number of customers who could have been served, who had put this as the preferred denomination. That means if I want to have many with this as the preferred denomination, the moment I have a preferred denomination, I should be serving the least number with that preferred denomination. So anytime you, someone puts 500 rupee note as the preferred denomination, I'll give them the combination with eight 500 rupee notes, either eight, three and four or eight, four and two, or eight, five and zero, something, but with just eight 500 rupee notes. That means anyone who has put 500 rupee note as a preferred denomination gets exactly eight 500 rupee notes. We have 50 500 rupee notes to start with, or we can service 50 by eight, six point something, six customers. We do not have enough 500 rupee notes for the seventh customer who says the preferred note is 500 rupee note. If your preference is 500 rupee note, we can give them 10, 9 or 8, but we would rather give 8 because we want to go as, get as many people, satisfy as many people who have put preferred note as 500 as possible. So we would rather give 8. So keep giving 8 every time. That will take us to 48 500 rupee notes being given away, servicing 6 customers. More than that, with only 50 500 rupee notes is not possible. So maximum number of customers is 6. What are the maximum number of customers that the ATM can serve with a stock of 50 500 rupee notes and a sufficient number of notes of other denominations if all the customers are to be served with at most 20 notes per withdrawal? 50 500 rupee notes, sufficient number of notes of other denominations. We start with at most 20 numbers, notes per So we have 50. So our 500 rupee note is our constraint. The others there are sufficiently. You can imagine there are 1,100 rupee notes and 2,200 rupee notes available with us. And the 500 rupee notes is the one we're going to run short of. We have only 50 of those. 
so now we have got to say at most 20 notes per withdrawal and with as few 500 rupee notes as possible if we achieve that then we are brilliant we are home and dry and at most 20 notes and as few 500 rupee notes as possible then we serve each customer with the minimum possible number of 500 rupee notes that means we can stretch out our 50 500 rupee notes as much as possible so let's say Obviously, we cannot do it with zero 500 rupee notes because 20 notes, if all 20 were 200 rupee notes, that will still amount only for 4000 rupees. So let's say we have one 500 rupee note. That means this X plus this Y, they together amount for 4500 rupees. The best case scenario to do it with the least number of modes, notes would be to have lots of these. So make 22 of these and one of these. 22 of these goes to 4400, one of these gives us another 100. But this means we have 1 plus 22 plus 1, 24 notes, that's not possible. So with just one 500 rupee note, it is impossible to satisfy this criteria and give 5000 rupees. Let's say there are two. So these two 500 rupee notes amount to 1000. So we need to generate for the remaining 4000 with 200 rupee notes and 100 rupee notes. If you have as few notes as possible, then you should have everything as 200, 200 into 20. So two 500 rupee notes, 200 into 20, zero 100 rupee notes. That is a possibility. That is the best case scenario. But even here, 20 into 200 plus two into 500, there are 22 notes available here. We can have at most 20 is also ruled out. Now let's go with three. Three 500 rupee notes amount to 1500 rupees. So we need to have 3500 rupees remaining satisfied with 200 rupee notes and 100 rupee notes. We'll have 17 of these and one of these. 17 into 200 is 3400 plus one 3500. 17 plus one is 18. 18 plus three is 21. Once again, funnily enough, this doesn't work greater than 20. So with three also, we cannot satisfy. So let's see if we can do it with four. So four 500 rupee notes gives us 2000 rupees. We have 3000 rupees remaining. That can be filled with 15 200 rupee notes. 15 plus four is 19. We have a winner. So using four 500 rupee notes, we can satisfy this condition of being able to distribute 5000 rupees with at most 20 notes per withdrawal. With 19 notes, we can do this. 4 into 500 plus 15 into 200 is 5,000. So with four, we can satisfy this. We have a stock of 50 500 rupee notes. So 50 by four is 12 point something. So for up to 12 customers, we can satisfy this. Any time a customer comes, give them four 500 rupee notes and 15 200 rupee notes. Keep on doing this. This is the best case scenario to stretch out our 500 rupee notes. We can serve up to 12 customers using the strategy. We do not have enough 500 rupee notes for the 13th customer. What are the number of 500 rupee notes required to serve 50 customers with 500 rupee notes as their preference? another 50 customers with 100 rupee notes as their preference the total number of notes to be dispensed is the smallest possible total number of notes is the smallest We're dispensing 5000 rupees the number of notes should be the smallest what is the inference here total number of notes is the smallest possible that means we need to have as many 500 rupee notes as possible as few 100 rupee notes as possible the more notes of the higher denomination, the fewer notes we will require. We want to serve 50 customers with 500 rupee notes as their preference. The guys with 500 rupee notes as their preference, satisfy them with only 500 rupee notes. So give them 10 500 rupee notes, they will be happy. Their condition is satisfied, 5000 rupees are delivered and they are, you're doing it in as few notes as possible. So these 50 customers will be serviced as 10, 0, 0. Now there are 50 customers who have to be served with 100 rupee notes as their preference. For them, we cannot deliver like this. 
we could have 100 rupee notes amounting to we need to get to 5000 rupees 50 100 rupee notes zero zero but that means there are 50 notes that's useless we need to replace this with 500 rupee notes in order to have as few notes as possible and so let's say we replace 10 of them we can have two 500 rupee notes zero 200 rupee notes and 40 100 rupee notes thousand plus four thousand is five thousand this is a possibility the number of notes is lesser right but we still have 42 notes <coughs> this is only two this is 40 we can replace more every time we cut five here we can add one here so we can have three and 35 we can have four and 30 we can keep doing that till we get the best point so four comma 30 works five comma 25 works six comma 20 works seven comma 15 works 8 comma 10 works 9 comma 5 does not work 8 comma 10 will work or we could have a scenario where we give them 8 500 rupee notes and 10 100 rupee notes the number of 100 rupee notes is greater than this plus this that condition is satisfied total amount given is 5000 this is the best case scenario because we have as few notes as possible and so with 18 notes we can do this with 10 notes we can do this so we want to find how many rupees 500 500 rupee notes are required to serve 500 rupee notes here are 10 rupee notes per person into 50 500 here again 50 people 8 500 rupee notes per person 8 into 50 is 400 500 plus 400 equal to 900 customers can be satisfied keeping the above conditions in mind choice 4